Rote learning is a technique for memorizing information based on repetition. Historically, this method has roots in traditional educational practices around the world. In ancient societies, oral repetition was necessary to transmit information in the absence of written materials. Over the centuries, rote learning has become a cornerstone of educational systems, particularly for its utility in teaching fundamental knowledge, such as the alphabet, numbers, and later complex formulas. Consider how rote learning operates in modern classrooms. For example, when students learn the periodic table, they often memorize elements and their properties through repeated exposure and recitation. In language classes, students typically memorize new vocabulary by repeating words, their meanings, and their phonetic pronunciations until they can recall them spontaneously. The strength of rote learning lies in its simplicity and effectiveness for certain types of memorization. It is particularly advantageous when quick recall is essential, such as during examinations where students must retrieve facts efficiently. Moreover, rote learning can provide a foundational layer of knowledge, which is especially important in subjects requiring precise and immediate recall of information. However, rote learning also faces significant criticisms. The primary concern is that it may lead to superficial understanding. Students can recall information for tests, but their ability to apply this knowledge in different or real-world contexts can be limited. This method is often seen as promoting a passive learning experience where students are recipients of information rather than active participants in their learning process. Contrasting rote learning with more interactive or conceptual teaching methods illuminates its limitations. For instance, inquiry-based learning, which encourages students to ask questions, explore, and discover answers through guided investigations, offers a deeper understanding of material compared to rote memorization. This approach not only enhances critical thinking, but also promotes greater engagement and retention of knowledge. To illustrate, let's compare the teaching of mathematical concepts. Rote learning might involve memorizing formulas and procedures, which is effective for passing tests that require quick answers to standard questions. On the other hand, inquiry-based methods would engage students in solving real-life problems using these formulas, thereby deepening their understanding and ability to apply mathematics in varied situations. Critics argue that an over-reliance on rote learning can stifle creativity and analytical skills. In a world that increasingly values innovation and problem solving, educational strategies need to support and develop these abilities. This has led to a shift in some educational policies, advocating for a balanced approach that incorporates both rote learning for foundational knowledge and interactive methods for comprehensive understanding and skill development. In conclusion, while rote learning has its place in educational settings for ensuring quick recall of facts, it is also crucial to integrate other learning strategies that foster deeper understanding and critical thinking.